Hello everyone, this is Karen Gotcha from WLSR Loser News back here again at Hanson Baptist Church with what could be a really big story. A whistleblower, a confidential informant, has come forward to share some really big news. Labor unrest and what could be a big revelation here at the church. This could be a big scandal. Here comes our anonymous source now. Hello, thank you for coming forward. Can you please share with the audience what you found? Well, I, I've been working at the church a long time, and after everybody leaves, I kind of have the place to myself. So one day, I went downstairs and I found this secret stairway going down to a hallway, and boy, oh boy, what did I find there? Oh my goodness. Well, we would love to see it if you would take us there, but we do have one more question before we go. Why do you wish to remain anonymous? Well. I'm just afraid if he finds out, if he finds out, I may end up with Cole, or he may make me work in the sound room. Colds? What, what do you mean he might give you colds? I know it's rather chilly outside, but I'm not sure I understand. Not cold. Cole. C-O-A-L. I'm afraid I'm going to get coal. All right. Well, we can go now if you'd like. Well, I've already showed you where it is, and it's kind of creepy down there. So why don't you go down there with your cameraman? All right. I believe this was the door he was talking about. I'm not sure this is safe. For as many times as we've been at this church, I had no idea it was going to be this creepy. I'm not sure how much further we should go, but this looks promising. Elf door? We've got a lot of angry elves in here. We're going on strike! I'm tired of picking up after all these reindeer. We've been down here all day working on toys! No more reindeer meat. He's a fraud. He's not who he says he is. We're gonna get stuck down here for months. Look at these crummy beds. Strike! 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 I'm tired of being stuck down here with these angry elves. We've been down here for a long time. Pastor Tom's not really who he says he is. Well, folks, what we decided to do was blow the whistle on this guy and ask the members of the church if they really know who their pastor is. How would you feel if your pastor was really Santa Claus? Well, I'm not surprised there's a rumor that, uh, that he's Santa Claus. I was at his house the other day, and while I was there, he referred to his dog as Blitzen. I'm not surprised. The other day he said something about leaving his Bible in his sled. That's really going a little far, don't you think? Well, of course. Just look at that beard. Tom, we, I was talking with you the other day and I asked you how you were doing. And you said, oh, jolly. And I thought, that reminded me of something. You know, what are you hiding in that garage of yours? Are there reindeer in there? Well, I'm not surprised. You know, the other day we went out to eat and he ordered reindeer meat. I thought that was kind of odd. Well, I did think it was strange. The other day I told him a joke, and when he laughed, he threw his head back and said, ho, ho, ho. What is that? Well, Pastor Tom, I know this may come as a shock, but this really isn't Karen Gotcha. This is Kate. And we made this video to show you how much we love you and appreciate everything you and Connie do for this church. We hope you enjoyed it. Hey, Tom and Dan. Holly let us know that uh, it's time for the pastor appreciation. And I just wanted to say to you and uh, Paige and Connie how much we appreciate you all and what you do. And um, I just think you're the best. The best in Kentucky. <laughs> Maybe even the best in America. Anyway, we, we do appreciate you and love you. And, uh, you know, I just thought of something... I never knew, after all these years at Hanson, that our Pastor Tom was the real Santa Claus. Who knew?
Pastor Tom, Pastor Dan, thank you for everything that you do, the long hours you put in, the tireless work that is done behind the scenes. But most importantly, also thank you to the wives, Connie and, and Paige, for all you guys do and the support for them and the uh, uh, stability that you provide and the just unconditional support. Uh, one last thing that I would like to say is, Reverend Tom, it is truly a blessing to get to call you Reverend in front of everybody. Thank you both, all four of you, for what you are willing to sacrifice for the church. Thank you all for everything that you do. We appreciate you all more than you know. Thanks again. Thank, Thank you. you. Mm, she didn't say it's one. Thanks, Thanks Tom, Tom and Connie, Connie, Dan and Paige, Paige for all you, you do, do for our, our church. church. We love you guys. Love you. Thank you for preaching. Thank you for being a preacher. <laughs> uh, we're thankful for Tom and Dan. Uh, both being here for all these years and being faithful and we don't get tired of you <laughs> we're, we're glad to have you here and glad for what you've been doing and for what the lord's called you to do and we thank you for all the help you give me and and, and that you give my husband and in working with the children and and you do a whole lot more than we can ever know probably <laughs> So my favorite thing about you, Pastor Tom, is the time and effort that you uh, put into rightly dividing the Word of God. Um, that's It's just unlike anything that I've ever seen before, and I've been in church since I was a few days old, but um, that is so appreciated. And Connie, I have found such a friend in you. Um, I love your trust for the Lord. I love your outlook on life, um, and I also love your hair, if I'm honest. Uh, Dan and Paige, I love your leadership, and um, I only wish that our Kate could have been under that leadership as she was in the youth group, but thank you for all you do um, for them. Oh, and I almost forgot, Pastor Tom, we got you a new Santa suit just in case uh, yours wears out. We love you guys. <laughs>